right, good morning everybody. I'm David Wood for Bag Up TV. Today we are on our way to Fleet's Dam for the Barnsley Feeder Pairs 2023. Now, this year it's over Fleet's Dam and Elsica Reservoir. We was going to put it on Woosborough as it is every year, but unfortunately Woosborough's having some work done on the banks and the water's down and there's no fishing on it at the minute until the banks are all done. So it is Fleet's Dam and Elsica Reservoir. I'm partnering up with Graham Wall as we won it last year and I've partnered him up with him for the last few years on this. So um, hopefully we can retain our title. So come on Graham, we need a good draw at um, Elsica and I need a good draw at Fleet's today. And then basically what happens is, is there's collumative points Say if I get a fourth in the zone and Graham gets a third in the zone, we'll have eight points, and then that's the total for our our basically day. Um, so I think last year me and Graham won it on three points. I got a first and he got a third, I think. Or four points we won it on last year. So anyway, I'm going to get there now. I'm supposed to be meeting Nosha and Craig Tiswell for a breakfast at the cafe. So I'm going to get there now get going and uh, we'll see what happens it's nice because the uh, clocks have changed so it's quite nice and bright when we get up now um so i'm meeting them there so anyway let's get cracking let's get going We've just got to the calf, uh, often tasty calf in Barnsley, bloody short. So um, yeah, we're going to have to uh, head on off into Barnsley, see if we can find something to eat. I know that there's a McDonald's not in Barnsley Town Centre, which is near Fleet, and I know that there's a Greg's knocking about, so let's see if we can uh, get something for breakfast. If it all comes to it, they'll not want a McDonald's or bloody nosh or anything that. Um, it says he needs toilet, he must have had a curry burry murry rurry last night, too much garlic in it. Anyway, let's get cracking because we need to get into the centre of Barnsley and we'll see what we can get. Probably a Greg's to be honest, so uh, let's get there now anyway. How's it supposed to feel? Just be careful on the pegs because some are underwater, uh, some are a little bit dodgy. We've had to take a couple out and repeg it a little bit, so there's an area where it's a little bit tight. But we'd rather have it a little bit tight than have someone fall in and break the neck. So it is what it is. Oh, it's Oh, it's so we're waiting for him to go down. Right, we've just done the draw. And I am on peg, not the greatest, 39 at the top end of of fleets. Basically, they call it on, on the top of the wall. It's like the wall, but they're in a wall there. It's just a top bank, basically. 39. Uh, yesterday, there was a match on, an open match on. And I think uh, my mate Dave Hawksworth, he were up there and he DNW'd. And there are a few others DNW'd as well. So not the greatest draw. Sorry, Graham. But I'm quite confident on fleets. I know what I'm doing, so I'm sure I can whittle a few fish out here and there. Um, 
Nosh has drawn very well. He's drawn 55 or 59, I think it is. That's where the fish are. Uh, Tids has drawn 15, which is a good peg as well, so he's happy. Um, there's a couple of us. My mate Graham, I've just had a, just had a quick conversation with Graham on the phone. And he has drawn absolutely dreadful at Elska Reservoir. 30, he's on. It's on the far bank, grass bank. He says there's nowhere to go. He says there's no fish up there. He's drawn terrible. So it's going to be an hard one for us. But anyway, let me get to his peg. Let's get going. And uh, hopefully we can catch a few fish today. So come on. Right, here we are. Fleet's dam for the uh, Barnsley feeder pairs. Oh, there's old Tommy there. Um, doing his blog. Here we are, not where I wanted to be. Now, this is my peg. I'm on peg 39 it is. Been on it a few times when I were a junior. But uh, not in any matches. We don't, really don't really peg this one uh, in the matches. So we'll see what it is. Uh, there's been some good draws. Nosh is up there on 55, I think. John Kelly's 31. Excuse me, 31 down here. Emma Pickery and Mpeg. Craig Tiswell, 15. Uh, Tommy, this corner. Um, don't know who else he's, he's done well. But let's take you down and show you the peg. Like I said, not where we wanted to be, really. But our zone is uh, this section. I think it's from peg 25 to 59 ish somewhere around there so we our zone is this bay um and the other zone is straight across from where the fishing sort of 11 to uh 68 years so that's their zone um we've got mick risby next door we've got um nick Askey that side um tom tom pickering's up there so, yeah, we're in good company. Been fishing hard this, this area. So, we'll see what we can do. See if we can do his best there. Eh? Right, tackle wise. And the Cortex 11 foot rod. That's to chuck out into sort of the middle area. Uh, there's a few fish, like another one jumped really far out. But John Kelly sat there and he's uh, he were originally sat down here, we're on wrong bloody peg. And I said to him, John, you're on wrong peg, you're on John 31. He's moved up and he's like a Cheshire cat now, he's right up there. There's a few fish further out. So, simple tax tip, tip, ticks. It is method feeder. You can't fish a bomb, it's method only. Got a feed by uh, a feeding feeder. So, I've got my micros. I've got some nano micros here, really small micros just to put a few in there. Got my wafters. Um, and that's it, really. That's all I'm doing. Got a bit of ground bait. Got a couple of other rods. Uh, well, another rod, 5G method rod for in the in just short, and then a feeding feeder rod for where I want to put some snap, and hopefully I'll get a few fish. So that's it, really. Tactics simple today. Not doing anything silly. So we'll see what happens anyway. Um, we're about 10 minutes from the off, so uh, wish me luck. Right, we're about uh, ready for the all in. I think my money's on John Kelly today. John, a really good pick in that corner. Not in that corner, over there. So, uh, we'll see what happens. So, just gonna start out, chuck out, see what happens, don't go too crazy at the start, then feed a little bit of bait, I think. So, uh, yeah. We'll go from there. seconds time <laughs> that's not a good start is it 
just feeding that short line uh, Mick. Just had my clip on. That's a terrible start, isn't it? Start there, see what happens. Right, well, here we've got a skinner on first chop. So it's not the best down here, but I'll take that.
in now and I've got four carp and about four or five little skimmers which to be honest I feel like it's doing all right um, Mick next door he's not had a bite yet Nick Asker this side to the left of me he's had three carp um, I don't know what's been caught over there John's had a couple but I've heard that Alan's had four carp as well so he's doing, he's quite happy over there. He's not in my zone though. But uh, yeah, it's going all right at the minute. I'm quite happy with that. Just hopefully keep on uh, catching a few. So, loads and loads of, excuse me, people coming in and walking around and stuff. And uh, I think uh, old father Roberts, he gave me a sausage roll from calf and Another lad gave me a chocolate bar, he said, oh, I gave you one last year and you ended up winning it, so I brought you another one. I'm like, oh, all right, cheers, thanks very much. Um, but yeah, it's flat calm down here. Um, I baited a short line about 
20 meters out put a little bit of bait there uh, not seeing anything really come on of, over the top of it and uh, I'm just chucking out about 35 40 yards at the minute I've got somewhere to go um, just keep moving round sort of to the left and then back to the right and just keep picking odd fish up so uh, yeah it's going alright at the minute but Graham, he's a, he's my partner at uh, he is at Elsica, and he's drawn peg thirty, and he's not had a bite yet. So come on, Graham, we need you uh, to start getting a few fish. Um, yeah, so not looking good in the pairs match at the minute, but uh, we'll carry on, see what happens.
seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Back a year ago. Right, we're into the last hour now. 
Um, it's quite close, I think, between me and Nick next door. Um, he keeps getting a few now, and he's had a couple of bigger ones as well, so I think it's quite close. Um, Mick's still struggling to there. John Kelly's having a few. The lad on 29's having a few. There's a, lot, there's a few fish coming out, to be honest. Nick Dave holding and everyone, so it's going to be quite tight, I think. I didn't think we were going to do quite that well, but we've done all right, me and Nick here. Uh, and I think um, Tommy's had a few now, so um, all I can catch is like chucking out like 40, 50 yards. I baited a short line, um, about 20 metres, 25 metres. I've gone on it a couple of times and never had a sign, never had a knock or anything. Um, and I baited up to this right hand corner here. Um, and I've had a little quick go on it, like five minutes, and had a little couple of rattles on it. I think they're like small fish, like roach or whatever. But unfortunately, Graham Wall at uh, Elsica, my partner, he hadn't had a bite, so unless he gets free bream in this last hour um, and puts us up into contention, we'll be all right. But at the moment, it's not looking good for us. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep going, see what happens. Last time, anything can happen, it's fishing for you. I think Alan Norris is doing quite well, and there's a few f people catching, so... Uh, I think best on here, I think, is Alan Barker, down there. Um, but he drew the flyer, which, uh, which uh, I think, £110 come off it yesterday. So, you would you would think that he'd be the one wanted to catch, uh, catch the fish. So, that yeah, is what it is, isn't it? Really enjoyed it, to be honest. I didn't think we were going to catch that many from these pegs, but we've done all right. Um, just need to keep going. Last hour, hopefully get four or five more. Be nice, wouldn't it? And uh, yeah, see what happens. Come on, Graham, get your finger out at Elsica for God's sake. We need a couple of bream off you. So, whoever Alan Barker's partner is, he'll be well up there. And uh, I think Nosh is doing well. Don't know what who, what Nosh's partner's doing at Elsica. So, it is what it is. If I catch a few more this last hour, I'll give it a quick film for you. If not, uh, then we'll uh, see what happens. See you in a bit. Right, we've like three minutes to go. I think we've got a better one what down there. Well it felt better anyway. It's 
seem like, but... Do the payout now if we did. So we'll do this first section, which is <laughs> pick 25 to 41 <laughs> section by default. Nick Asker. Uh, next section. 43 to 55, which is 46 pounds 6. Tommy Pickering. Oh, Tommy. 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 Which is Brett Clark with well, forty three pounds well, 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 And the other section <laughs> is Peg eleven to twenty three is on, Jamie Wilde thirty five pound ten. Go on, go on. 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 Right, third in the match, yeah, that's right. Best yeah. on back. Yeah, which is Eddie Bryden from Peg 55, 55, 6. Well, 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 I didn't tell you, Eddie. Oh, 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 well, uh, second in the match is myself with well, well, done, well, well done, Buster. And first is Alan Barker with 66. Who's there? 66. 66 pounds. Well done, Alan. 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 I know some of you have uh, there, but it's one of our favourites this year. But uh, right, so we've had it on Elsica Reservoir. Has it somebody jumped the words of this year? Because the remedial works has been took off. Uh, Elsica's played a good part in this, to be honest. Uh, it's been, it's been a leveller. Let's put it that way, another. But uh, we'll start from results. I'm going to start in sixth place. They collected hundred pound as a pair. Team Skimmer bashes. I believe they're both absent from here. Uh, but they've had 12 points with a weight of £46, 8 pounds, collecting like £100 pound, is Matt Hayes and Matt Bretherton, Team Skimmer Bashers. Well, well, well. In fifth, In fifth place, Gareth Dawson and Emma Pickering with 11 points and a weight of £39.5. Pound and they are Team Revolution. In fourth place, we've got uh, Jay Singlers and John Kelly, and they are team Throw It All Over. <laughs> well done, yeah. They've had seven points with a combined weight of £44.11. 
In third place, with seven points, with a slightly better weight of £63.8, is Team Wafters, which is father and son, Jeff and Nicky Askew. Oh, 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 Your runners up on. today. They've got a team score, cumulative team oh, score of four points. Cumulative team weight of £64.9 ounces. It's Eddie Bryden and Sean Stenton. <laughs> That just about pay Sean's diesel bill. <laughs> they collect three hundred pound. It will be paid out by PayPal. And your winners, we a perfect score, two points, combined weight to ninety nine pound twelve ounces. It's team no bites all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure that's strictly true in this instance. But uh, Luke Armitage and Alan Barker, two. <laughs> Just another mention that they've actually both won the match outright each time, so well done. Well done. Well done. Right, that's it. As you can tell, it's a different day because it was absolutely pitch black when we'd finished the match. Um, I had a decent day, to be honest. I ended up having £64, three ounce. I ended up winning my zone and coming second on the lake. Um... So I did really well, to be honest, out of a non-favoured peg. We didn't think it was going to be that good round there. Nick Askew were next to me, he had, he had £55. Uh, and then round that area, no one really caught anything. John Kelly, had a, he, he didn't really catch much. I thought he were catching me, he had about £30, John. Um, but the winner of Fleets was Alan Bancroft. He had £65. And he just did me by a couple of pounds. So well done, Alan. I come second, and then Eddie Bryden was third with 55 pounds. Alan did not do too bad. He had 41 pounds. He ended up coming like fifth for six in the match at Fleets. And I think he come third in his zone. So Alan did all right. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, it is a team's event, this. Um, Graham drew terrible at Woodsborough, at Elsica, uh, and he didn't have a bite. And uh, we were absolutely gutted at the end because I'd got one point in the zone. Um, and I'd, all we needed for Graham to have, you know, a few five points, six points, seven points that had got us in the money. And a DNW'd and ended up coming 14th. So, yeah, terrible, terrible performance by Graham. What were you doing, man? Gutted. Now, it, it is what it is at Elsica. Uh, like I said, he's drawn a terrible peg. Um, and Graham, uh, I know Graham's catching fish there because he's had some really good results at uh, Elsica. So I'll not be too harsh on you, Graham, but uh, we could have had another win there. Um, I've always done quite well in this competition. I think uh, last year I had a, well, last year we won it, and the year before that I ended up coming third in the zone as well. So we normally do all right on this competition, but uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Hopefully, Woods will be back up and running next year and we'll be able to have it on there. Um, as well, but massive thanks to Elska Reservoir for letting us uh, fish the venue at sh very short notice. Um, so thanks very much for the lads there. Uh, well done to all the framers. Um, shame it didn't go our day today. I think Alan ended up coming about sixth or seventh in the actual competition. His mate didn't do very well at Elsica either, so we were both down there. Um, so yes, you've probably seen all the results, you've probably seen the presentation as well. So well done to everybody, and a, and a massive thanks goes out to Graham Wall, Nick Asker, um, all the lads from Elska who helped run the match. Um, who else was there? Craig Tiswell, thanks for helping me weigh in and doing the sheets, mate. And uh, Alan Norris as well for helping us do the draw and everything. So if I missed anyone, I do apologise, but thank you very much for helping me out with this event. It does mean a lot. And uh, it's the uh, we'll be running it for the seventh year next year. So if you do fancy going on the Barnsley Feeder Pairs, um, do get in contact with us. But uh, look on his Facebook, and I'll be putting a post up on the Facebook later on next year for next year's event. Um, so that's it. We didn't get to retain his title, but fishing is fishing, and that's how it goes. Still had a great day, great day with the lads and everything like that. So uh, hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. Um Next, we've got the Shimano Feeder, Shimano Ledger Cup final at Lindome Lakes in a couple of weeks. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Um, so hopefully we can uh, hopefully get one on that one. 
we'll see hopefully draw a flyer right that's it hats hoodies t-shirts all available email me at baguptv at gmail.com if you want any merchandise uh, we have got a another channel called bag up tv raw where i put bag up tv raw footage on i put a camera behind me and just let that play in um, and if you like to watch raw footage and just put it on in the background and watch the match how it basically is recorded uh, you're quite welcome to go on there give it a subscribe give it a like and uh, watch the videos on there um that's bag up tv raw so that's a youtube channel as well what i run you can also uh, just hit go on over there click subscribe it'll be a massive favor um that is it please please keep liking sharing commenting on the videos I read every comment on here so it does mean a lot when you do comment on the video yeah keep liking keep sharing and that is it guys thank you very much for watching this one i hope you enjoyed it as much as i have and we will see you on the next one keep on bagging we out Fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, right, thanks life. for tuning in on the video. Shame. If you want to see more time, videos, hit this hit awesome pain, playlist down here. Grind, Make change, sure you hit the subscribe button. Mind, and if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Grind, thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you soon. Keep on flagging.